everybody, it's the Doll Circle, and we're doing a doll chat today, a little different. We're doing our stories of our eating habits, <laughs> which I know doesn't sound Weirdos. as exciting, but we're doing our vegetarian slash vegan story about our life and stuff, because we have uh, incorporated some vegan videos in our, uh, our line of videos before with like cookies and like that one Chewy's restaurant video that I kind of put together randomly because I was like, oh, we're here, let's shoot something. <laughs> so we wanted to kind of share with you guys like where we kind of came from with all of that and just see where you guys stand with a lot of that stuff too. Mm -hmm. And I'm very pink today. Get to know but us better. <laughs> so yeah, you can start off. Maybe you want to talk about it. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> no pressure. I am newly committed vegetarian. Um, I've been eating like vegetarian even vegan, uh, maybe like 70% of my diet just because I hang out with her all the time and her other friends vegan and I generally like vegetables a lot but beginning of February I'm, or even a little bit before that I made the decision to just strictly be vegetarian like don't eat any meat at all because I would still eat chicken and some fish and every once in a while like red meat but I decided I don't, didn't want it and it wasn't really for any health reasons even though I, like I know the benefits of it and it wasn't really for any animal rights reasons even though I love animals but I just slowly started not wanting meat like it wasn't like I tried being vegetarian like 2011 and it only lasted a month I can't even remember why I wanted to I know it's hard for you to uh, kick cheese I think you said it was like the yeah. thing well to, like, back then I wasn't I didn't like as many vegetables and I didn't do my research and I we didn't get to hang out as much back then, so I didn't have that support. And, like, everybody in my family is, like, meat, 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 meat. So I didn't last long because all I ate was cheese because that's the only thing I liked. I didn't want to eat vegetables. I just... So I, I wasn't getting the proper Yeah, foods I mean, I feel like any time you change anything, whether it's diet, way that you dress, your hair, anything, like, if you don't have a support system with something, I feel like it is something very difficult to break mm -hmm. out of your, what either you're taught or what your norm, your normal Absolutely. is. Absolutely. You know, especially when, uh, like, everyone around you is the complete opposite. It's like, me, why <laughs> so. are you, and even that, I still have that, like, no one else became a vegetarian in my family, but back then I still wanted like I craved it and I felt like I was depriving myself of the meat so that's why I ultimately failed at it but this time it wasn't like I was like oh you know I think I should be vegetarian because XYZ I was literally just like I don't want this anymore and because my taste buds changed and I you know started eating healthier to begin with it was easier that the one day I was like you know what I'm done with meat and I haven't eaten any sense not even fish which I don't know why that, to me, a lot, when I tell people I'm vegetarian, they're like, but you eat fish, right? That's a whole nother thing. Which is thing. sad that people don't consider fish, like, right? living they're animals. creatures. They're Because like, that's something I've always heard, which is so weird to me. Like, everyone's like, oh, you can still eat fish. I'm like, but they have eyes, and they move around, and they come from a family, too. So, like, why, why are fish seen lower on the spectrum of, like, animals just because they don't, you don't cuddle with them? <laughs> like, is that, is, that, is that the line Mermaid or something? Mermaid cuddle with fish. <laughs> I know, Ariel's very upset right now. Uh, she backs me around. Uh, <laughs> um, and I still eat cheese. That's still, like, one of my guilty pleasures. But I definitely don't eat as much anyway. And, like, if I have cheese in one thing a meal, I make sure I don't eat any other cheese meals. If that makes That's sense. only just good for cholesterol yeah, and balance, yeah. you know? Like, like, cheese is if still If you're going to eat eggs, don't eat a whole dozen eggs in one sitting because mm -hmm. then your cholesterol will really reflect that. So I feel like anything in moderation is always good. Well, so. it's proven, like, a lot of people, when they do go vegan and they don't use dairy at all, like, their skin will clear up. Like, I think a lot of people overindulge in dairy, um, even if you're not. Well, there's a lot of addictive properties that they've done research in for <laughs> for cheese in general. They say a lot of people, like, who eat cheese on a consistent basis have the same reaction as if they were on a drug habit. <laughs> so I, I feel that. like, you know, because it keeps giving you those, like, little happy, like, dopamines and everything it's like that. Delicious. So you're like, cheese, yeah. mm, the cheese, mm. You know what I mean? Same thing with, like, when you eat cookies and, like, sugar and stuff like that, which is, like, one of my hard problems is, yeah, all I eat are vegan pastries, but there's still sugar in them. Now, refined sugar, a lot of them have, like, you know, raw and things like that, so but it's sugar. still hard to kick Something that makes you happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's like your one vice, but oh, I'm cookies. more, make me more aware also of what I mean. Like, yes, I'll still eat cheese, but like I said, I limit it. Um, I don't really drink milk anymore. Like, if it has milk in it, it's fine, but I don't go out and have a glass of milk. And I don't miss it at all. Like, I feel better, even though, like, I just decided I'm not going to eat meat and I don't regret it yeah I mean so whether it's like you're just starting off or like you know you've been doing it for a while it's one of those things like 
it's so funny that in such a short time you're not missing it because I yeah. think a lot of people are always like oh like they switch over their diet they're like oh I miss that I miss that I miss that and it takes like forever for you to change your no. your taste buds and your taste palate well, so that's, that's like kind my, of interesting my problem back in the day was that oh I, I wanted it but I can be around I work in a restaurant so there's me everywhere and I it kind of like grosses me out to be honest like I'm not gonna judge anyone for eating me I can sit next to you if you're eating me but I don't want it yeah. No, that's like, see, I'm very, like, smell sensitive. Like, seeing it is not so bad, but I'm very smell sensitive because I haven't had meat in so many years that, like, now if I smell it, I'm like, that smells weird to me. <laughs> like, I'm like, it smells like, it smells like, yeah, it smells like feet or something. I don't know. Like, so I'm trying to think of something that's gross that somebody, like, who doesn't understand where I'm coming from would maybe get. Like, imagine something disgusting. That's what it smells like to me. So it's like, <laughs> it's like, it's like, like, I walk into, like, a steakhouse or whatever, and I'm like, why does it smell like death in here? You know, like, I don't associate... I don't think you'd be walking into a steakhouse, though. <laughs> I wouldn't, but if I did, that's, like, the association of smell that I would have with me, you know? Because, like, obviously, I've been, you know, vegetarian vegan for way longer. Um, I started, you know, obviously, almost, I can't believe it's, like, 16 years years ago or wow. so 16 years was the last time that I had like meat in itself and then uh Ooh. dairy it's been you know being at least four years or more since I've had like and, and even then I didn't eat cheese it was only chocolate that would only suck me in back then <laughs> was like one downfall so even then I wasn't really eating a lot of dairy in general I mean if I did have cheese it would be like once in a great blue moon but um which was, again, my one downfall to kick was the chocolate and that part. But now it's like I don't even think about it. Like I still vaguely remember what meat tastes like because I had it as a kid. But even then, like I barely ate it with when my mom would cook. And then I started cooking for myself at such a young age. So for me, it was an easy transition. Like when I was cooking, I was like, okay, time to make a giant mass of vegetables and rice and all of that. So like I never missed it, but I never liked it. <laughs> mm. And I did it for more health reasons. Like I did it for like originally I wanted to lose a lot of weight. Uh, just because I was slightly overweight, so I was like, oh, okay, the best way to do it is cut out the temptation, and the temptation was the cheese fries. So, <laughs> I was like, well, if I change my diet, then I can't eat it, because now I've changed my whole way of thinking and my mm. processing. So, for me, it was an easy transition, and I don't miss it, and I do agree when you cut out dairy, it does clear up your skin. I don't feel as greasy. I felt like just like... You just feel lighter. Yeah. yeah, like, well, I mean, there is truth to when people say you are what you eat. I mean, if you eat nothing but greasy food, you, you are now putting that grease in your body and it's going to come out in one shape or another. So, I mean, it, eh, you are what you eat. Yeah. <laughs> you know? So, I mean, for me, it was a lot of combinations. It was health reasons. Um, I didn't like eating meat. So, for me, it was just super easy. I was like, oh, I don't want to eat all that gross stuff. And then, uh, I mean, just in general, I don't think you should kill cute little fluffy animals. Yeah. Or know. fish. Because they're also animals. Too. Fish are animals. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Um, Evidently, someone thought mushrooms were meat the other oh, day, yes. so I don't even know what that. That's so crazy. So someone the at restaurant Robin's restaurant I work with, who is a cook. No, it's not a fancy restaurant. It's just like a regular restaurant. Regular casual yeah. restaurant. Um, we have this dish, and it has uh, sausage on it. It's like spicy sausage. And I was like, I want this, but instead of the sausage, I want mushrooms. And he looks at me like, mushrooms are meat. <laughs> and I was like, what animal do mushrooms come from? Can you tell me? They're, so there's so much, like misconceptions even about what is meat and what isn't and I, evidently <laughs> when you tell people you're vegetarian or vegan even it's probably worse people act like you're crazy yeah, well, not everyone, yeah. but a lot of well, people. Well, I mean, there are also the borderlines, because there, there are stigmas and there are stereotypes. Just like you don't any get group enough of protein. People, uh, you know, I always hear the same thing over and over again. Like, oh, you're going to start preaching to me to not eat meat. I don't care less. If you want to go eat meat and you want to put that in your body, go do it. I don't want gross things in my body, so I don't eat those things. Again, I'm not going to, like, you know cruise by someone for doing that it's just like again you get a lot of stigmas with it so people are always like oh where do you get your protein do you know that a glass of like almond milk has sometimes more calcium and more protein than a lot of other regular milk and you don't realize that you're not drinking hormones and pus and all the other things that are in milk so it's like one of those things for me it was easy to clear that out yeah but Again, you're always going to get that one, the arguments that people always have, like, like, where do you get protein? Where what? It's a natural. Like, I know. Uh, so a girl because I you're work with says we have uh, canine teeth for a reason, and we... Again, but you're seeing, you're, people are saying things that they're taught, but again, that could be with anything, you know, you know I mean, probably, this is just dieting, you know. You but, know, when humans first start existing, yes, we need to eat meat because we hunted our own food we did more physical there was less options to eat now that there's ways to grow vegetables yeah like like there's no reason you you need to eat meat i mean if you want to that's one thing but there's no reason you need to and actually it's 
Because yeah. they're finding out that there's a lot of science behind there's no. positives, and I mean, I'm not saying that like there's completely only negatives with eating meat. I mean, there are a lot of science that proves that there's positives on both dieting, and some people in certain cases. A lot of diets, if they're so restrictive on what they eat, they need to sometimes incorporate some meat to then counteract what they're missing in for whatever deficiency they have. So, I mean, there is a lot of science on both sides. I just feel like for me, yes. <laughs> personally, I prefer this style of dieting, and this is why or I go with just, it. You know? I wouldn't even say dieting, just your diet. Yeah, and my personal choice, my mm -hmm. eating choices, I guess yes. you would say. So comment below what you guys have to say and what dieting uh, choices or diet choices you guys go with. Um, again, like, you know, obviously we're not here to preach or anything like that. And yeah. I don't really care if you guys want to go vegan or not. Again, this is just something that I feel and I'm happy with what I do and it keeps the weight off. <laughs> Especially when I see all those delicious cookies and cakes when I know there's milk in it. I'm like, well, I guess I can't eat you today. So, <laughs> which does help me. So it's one of those like self-control things. So do you guys deal with that? Do you guys have like self-control issues? I mean, it's one of those things where... I feel like it's an everyday battle with eating, whether you're vegan, vegetarian, eat a million yeah, things, whether you're paleo or whatever. I, I think to me the biggest thing in the to wrap up is to make healthy choices with what you eat, you mm -hmm. know? Uh, do we say eat McDonald's every day? Probably not a good idea, you know? I mean, so it's one of those things, like, if you guys, you make a conscious choice to maybe switch over. If you guys have questions on being vegan, you know, definitely comment below. Let us know. We'll try and to help remember, you guys out as much as we can. And being vegetarian or vegan does not necessarily mean healthier because there are processed oh, yeah. vegan oh, and yeah, vegetarian there foods. There is. There's There's coming out vegan a lot pastry. of them. Yeah, yeah, so, like, yeah. you still have to be careful of, like, the the processed foods because uh, Oreos, uh, most Oreos or a lot of Oreos are vegan, but you shouldn't eat a whole bag of Oreos. Yeah, surprisingly they are. I mean, like, again, there is some stigma because there's bone char in the sugar that they can't prove is not there. So again, it depends on how out there of a vegan you want to be. <laughs> but it's one of the things that's about just eating healthy and eating less processed yeah. foods. I think that's another big thing for our diet choices is trying to cut back all the high fructose corn syrup and all... So you eating know, clean. So eat, eating clean tends to lean in a vegan direction. So that's why we tend to eat in that direction. <laughs> Again, let us know what you guys think. It was a very lengthy kind of out there video, but if you guys want to see more stuff on this about our personal lives, if you guys want to see vlogs, if you want to see more veganism uh, in depth from us, whether it's restaurants and which I kind of want to start incorporating for you guys. We we'll have a doll know. there with us. so it'll be Yeah, we want to start taking dolls out to vegan restaurants. <laughs> and have like, I know so it's like even more stigmas. It's like, Oh, you're, you're a weird vegan and you're a weird dog collector. How many more weird stigmas can we add on our We start taking the cabbage patch out in the stroller. I, I want to. I've never done that. <laughs> Which I will do. I, I To me, because like, I'm like, oh, just be you. Be you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.